What's going on everybody, it's the Dean Brawl here. We got another episode of Clash Royale coming for you all. So, what we're going to do today is we're trying to push up to 5,000 trophies and I've been having trouble finding what decks I like and what decks I want to use. So, I've been experimenting with this Lava Loon deck with the clone spell. It has, I have not had that much luck with it. I've also been using this P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince deck. I also haven't been having much luck with it. This Mega Knight deck in the Electro Dragon, I've, this deck has been really working well for me in the past so I might use that but I kind of want to make a new deck and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try and experiment with some decks today I don't really care if we lose any trophies I just want to find a good deck that works for me and I'm thinking about using the furnace because I almost have it to level 11 so I kind of want to find a good deck that uses the furnace um we could it's really good chip damage you always want some chip damage in your deck so we're also going to use Spear Goblins. Spear Goblins, let's keep the Zap because Zap's always good. Um, I would like to use the Royal, Gar Royal Recruits eventually, but mine are only level 8. And we're really high up. We're versus level 12s and stuff, so it's probably not smart to use that. Um, do we have any level 11 rares? We do have a Giant. I kind of want to use the Goblin Giant. We can maybe use the Goblin Giant. Um... What about Goblin Giant? You know how Giant and Balloon works well? What about Goblin Giant and Balloon? Maybe we could try that out. So, a Goblin Giant and Balloon deck. Um, Skeleton Army, we can maybe keep that. Mega Minion, we could probably keep that also. Uh, we can replace the clone with something else, like... Something that is good at defense, I'm feeling. Because we have the Furnace and the Mega Minion, which would be good for a Hog Rider. But we need something for, like, a... Let's say a P.E.K.K.A. comes in. We might need something for a P.E.K.K.A. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Maybe we could put some just guards in. Or mini P.E.K.K.A. maybe. Uh, I'm thinking the guards. That looks pretty good. We got skeletons and guards, so that'll... That might work well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Do we have good splash damage? We don't really have good splash damage. Maybe we want the Valkyrie? in for the guards yeah maybe this will good work well um yeah let's try it let's try a game with this we could always keep editing editing it after we play we can learn what we can learn with what we verse which cards we need and stuff like that so let's start off with the furnace so he's got a valkyrie coming our way i'm thinking about I'm thinking about... Let's send a balloon this way because he did put a, quite a bit of elixir. Let's put a Mega Minion over here to defend that Valkyrie. And places a Minion Horde. So let's just zap that Minion Horde. Um, okay, so I kind of know what deck he has. He has like a Cycle, Golem Barrel, Minion Horde, Zap Bait deck. Whatever. That was long, but that's sort of what he's using, I'm guessing. So our Mega Minions did some damage on the right side. So we could start pushing over to the right. We can, once we get to full elixir, we can see what he does. Or we can place our spear goblins on that side. Yeah, let's place our spear goblins on that side. Um, let's place the furnace to the left so we can defend. I'm thinking about placing the Valkyrie on that wizard once he comes across the bridge. Um, we can go Valkyrie Mega Minion. Hopefully our Valkyrie can do a lot of work. Let's also zap. Okay, looks like we might get a couple hits. Wizard's also going to get hit. Two hits. Max out Wizard, of course he's going to get two hits. Uh, I don't know how this level 11 has max out cards, because I barely even have level 11 rares. Um, yeah, I knew he was going to place that minion horde. Let's place Spear Goblins and a Skeleton Army. And let's place the Valkyrie. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to do a bunch of damage. Our tower's probably going to go down. Dang it. That isn't looking too good. Okay, so it's double elixir time. We can start with the furnace. We start with this mega minion. Goblin giant in the back. We can start our main push. Um, let's save our spear goblins to try and take out that 
wizard over in the back. Let's zap all of this in the middle. Um, that wizard, that maxed out wizard just shredded everything. Uh, let's take our goblin giant to help defend against this golem barrel. Let's do more spear golems and mega minion. Let's place our balloon. Have our zap ready. Let's zap the tower and hopefully our balloon can get to the tower maybe. Hopefully. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. We got that tower. Oh. Let's see. Let's place a Valkyrie in the middle. Let's place Spear Golems, Mega Minion, and let's have this Furnace. So we're going to kill this Hog Rider, but he can pretty much poison us to death. Uh, let's just place the balloon over here. Oh, great. I forgot. He has that Minion Horde. Let's have our Spear Golems and a Zap ready to, to go against that minion, minion Horde. Let's have a Valkyrie. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can Maybe we can get that tower before he gets ours. Dang it, we were so close. So, so close to getting that tower. We pushed to the left. If only we had enough elixir to defend on the right. Okay, so the deck's not bad. Um, We might need some more splash damage for that minion horde. Okay, so Valky didn't really work well for us. Mega minion didn't really do much for us. Maybe we can do... Hmm, <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what to do. What well, looks like a good card for some, s Baby Dragon, maybe this will work out. Baby Dragon instead of the Valkyrie? Maybe? Um, I'm trying to think. Mega Minion, our Mega Minion's super weak. We got level 10 Mega Minion versus level 11s and 12s and 13s. It's not fun. Um... Okay, let's just roll with this. Let's change one card at a card at a time. Keep experimenting. We still got plenty of time left in the season to reach our goal of 5,000 trophies, so I'm not worried at all. Uh, we can place the mega, mega mini on the left side. I thought he was. Usually, I feel like people push to the left, but he mirrors his wizard. Luckily, they're only level 10s instead of level 13s and stuff. Will our wizard pass the bridge? No, he won't. We can help our baby dragon out over here with the spear goblins, and they were just taken out. Okay, let's use the furnace to help out with this wizard on this side. Okay. So we got our furnace up and rolling. They should make it to the tower, since he's only level 10 and our furnace is level 10. They will make it to the tower. Let's push on the left side. Let's see what he has to counter this balloon, if he doesn't have any... He has the Electro Wizard. Alright, so we got him to use that Electro Wizard. I don't really care if there's an Electro Wizard doing damage on that tower. It's fine. Um, we can go Skeleton Army, Baby Dragon, Spear Goblins, and we defend it. Alright, nice. So, that Electro Dragon, or not Electro Dragon, that Electro Wizard did do some damage. That's alright though. Um, we took out that wizard. That's nice. Okay, okay, okay. What to do, what to do. We have a lot of choices. Um, I'm thinking he's probably going to go for the left, the right side, so we're going to push left. Like, it's bad splitting up your damage among the towers, but sometimes it's good. It just depends on how much confidence. Okay, this, this P.E.K.K.A. will put our deck to the test. What I'm thinking is I'm thinking of pushing to the right. Let's go full push to the right. Let's go Goblin Giant, Baby Dragon. Probably going to place the Electro Wizard soon. Let's zap all that. Okay, place the Electro Wizard on this side. Our tower should... Our Baby Dragon and that uh, Goblin Giant should take out that tower. Let's place the Mega Minion. Um, let's place some Spear Goblins to distract. Let's place a Furnace. Um... And the Sparky hit the tower, but that's not bad because we defended everything else that he threw at us. Let's place a Goblin Giant for sort of a defense. Let's have our Baby Dragon ready to snipe out that wizard. Okay, he places the... Let's wait for the wizard to lock onto the Goblin Giant and then place the Skeleton Army. Let's, he zaps the Skeleton Army, so let's place our Spear Golems down. Our Baby Dragon is doing a lot of splash damage over there, so that's good. Looks like we're going to be able to defend. 
I don't think he has enough time to take us out. We have our zap too. Let's zap all this. And yeah, that's a nice win for us. We almost got the three crown too. Okay, so this deck is progressing. We were able to win against a Sparky Pekka Wizard, Electro Wizard deck. That's weird. Um, I don't know if I want to change anything. We can keep rolling with this, see how it goes. The thing is, when you find a deck you really like, you can push super far and super fast when you find a deck you really like. You can go on like five game win streaks, which is like easily 150 trophies. Uh, let's start off with this furnace and reverse another level 10, so our furnace will be able to do some chip damage. Um, we could place some spirit golems also. Maybe one or two of them might go for the tower. Yeah, one of them did. We can place the baby dragon in the back to take out this wizard. Okay. Let's place this golem giant in the back, because by the time the golem giant gets to his side, the, the inferno tower will probably be dead. We can try out this goblin giant uh, balloon push. We can place the balloon. Uh, we can zap. I was planning on placing the mega minion, but we can place him now. Okay, so he zaps. He, he cycles back to his inferno tower, so that was... We got him to use up a lot of elixir, so that's good. Let's place our spear goblins. See if we can do some more chip damage. Spear goblins always do about 300 damage, so that's really nice. Um, I think if we add our baby dragon with that push, once we get to double elixir, we can do a goblin giant balloon and baby dragon, hopefully. And that might actually work really well, because it will take out bats, skeleton army. It will help out with that inferno tower. Um, we have to put a baby dragon on this side to counter that Valkyrie. Hopefully the Valkyrie gets drawn over to that furnace. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Let's place a skeleton army and a mega minion because he's probably going to zap. Or not. Okay, that's good. That's good. We can, our mega minion might be able to get, our baby dragon's doing some damage. Okay, we can start our push. Let's start our goblin giant push. Um, what should we do now? I'm thinking maybe we could place the furnace. And I'm thinking on the other side, let's place the balloon and the baby dragon along with some spirit goblins. Let's zap this right here and hopefully our balloon can get to the tower. He's not able to get to the tower, but his drop is able to get to it. Okay, so we're splitting our damage, which isn't the best. Um, let's place a Mega Minion on this side. I don't know, I don't know what he's trying to do. Uh, let's place a Furnace. Alright, so he has a balloon of his own. Uh, let's place a Skeleton Army. Um, hopefully that balloon gets taken out. Uh, we can place our Baby Dragon to help out with this wizard. Um, let's place our Goblin Giant. Let's place Spear Goblins to do some more chip damage and a Mega Minion to defend against this Valkyrie. Alright, so he's defending against those Goblins. Um... I do not. Let's place a skeleton army right now. Baby dragon to help out. Uh, let's zap. Hopefully our goblin giant can do a lot of damage. Let's do sphere goblins to help out this goblin giant. Try and take out that Valkyrie before it can make any progress. He places his fire spirits. So we're able to do quite a bit of damage with that goblin giant. He left it go trying to make a big push to get the our left tower. But he was not able to successfully do that. So let's place our goblin giant in the back again. Um, he's gonna try the same thing. Let's have our baby dragon. Let's skeleton army. Mega minion. Um, we got a little push going over there. Let's place the balloon. Uh, the balloon did get to the tower because of that rage, but that's okay. Let's have a zap ready. Um, let's hold off on that zap. Let's zap now to get those bats and the Valkyrie. Let's place the baby dragon. Looks like we might take out this tower. Nice. The balloon got to the tower and taken it out. So we got two wins in a row with this deck. That was pretty tough. The Inferno Tower and Wizard was pretty tough. We were able to make it work. So we got two wins. Let's try and go for a third. This will probably be the last match of this video, guys. So, Okay, we're versing level 11. Somebody who might be able to put up a greater challenge with his card levels. Let's start with the Furnace. Oh, a Mega Minion... Because he has a bandit and a 
Lumberjack, hopefully the Mega Minion is all we need. Uh, it might be, yeah, Mega Minion is all we knew, all we need. Okay, so that was a good elixir trade for us. Kind of, I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I think I'm just Spear Goblins, okay. Uh, let's do Goblin Giant. And let's do Skeleton Army. He zapped, that's nice. Our skeleton Army can take out everything. Goblin Giant can do a little bit of damage, and the skeletons from the back, and he logs. Okay, that was a good log. That was a good log. So, But we were able to do about 300 damage, so that's good. We can start off with our furnace again, just for like a defense sort of thing, just to be annoying. Because it won't really do any chip damage to the tower, which kind of sucks until we get it leveled up. Um, we can place the Mega Minion on this bandit to kill it a little more before it can do a lot of damage. Nice, we were able to defend that furnace. Let's use Spear Goms to keep the furnace alive. Okay, so does he have anything for our balloon? I'm not sure. Let's place the Goblin Giant in the back. That's good because we got that Lumberjack coming in. Um, let's place the Skeleton Army. It's probably going to log or zap. That's fine. But, but that goblin giant should take out that giant skeleton along with the fire spirit's help. Let's zap the, these minions. Goblin giant should take the rest out. And it looks like we're going to get the balloon to the tower. Nice. Hopefully we can we'll get another shot off and take out the tower. Yes, okay. So when, even if the balloon dies, it's going to take out the tower. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, never mind. It's got three damage. That's fine. We can... We have a zap. <laughs> We can start pushing the other way. Or not. Uh, let's go. Let's go, Spear Goblins. He zapped. That's nice. We got a Skeleton Army. I don't know why he keeps zapping. Well, I guess he did have the log. Um, let's not worry about the tower. He shouldn't be able to take it out. We got a Goblin Giant in a full balloon. Okay, never mind. He mirrored. That might take out the tower. Okay, it wasn't able to take out the tower. So, looks like we're going to be able to take out this tower because he overpushed. Um, our Mega Minion will take out that tower. He zaps and logs trying to take out that tower. Maybe we can get a 3 crown. End off the day with a 3 crown. Nice, nice. Come on, come on. I'm looking like a 3 crown. Yes, 3 wins in a row and a 3 crown to end off the video. That is super nice. Alright, okay, well that will have to do it for the vis this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. And I'll see you guys later.